the British cactus and succulent society. Whoa. I've been collecting cactus and succulents for around seven to eight years now. So I'm just over the beginner stage, starting to understand things a lot more. And three years ago, I invested in a nice new greenhouse to accommodate my hobby. The original wooden one having fallen into disrepair was actually getting quite dangerous. Inside the greenhouse, I have a, a range of plants like most other collectors. Originally, I started with uh, mainly mammalarias and cactus in the last year or two. I'm heading a bit, getting a bit more interested in lithops, conophytums, winter growing uh, succulents from South Africa, and uh, learned a great deal from reading the articles of Terry Smell and watching his videos. Um, so, Difficult to show you exactly what's in here, but uh, we'll have a quick tour along the top. Whole variety of plants moving along. Keep these on the top shelf. Still got some spaces to fill up, I'm pleased to say. A few hanging plants. And uh, going across the top, some of my larger plants on the higher staging. The obligatory fan, which I've turned off for a moment to keep it quiet, going away along to the far corner. And again, one or two more hanging plants. Down the centre of the greenhouse, I have um, a table with some cuttings underneath. And on top, I've got a selection of plants uh, that like the sun. And I sit them on two glass squares, which are actually tops of coffee tables, the bases of which are out in the garden. So as the weather improves, I just pick them up, move them outside. When the rain comes, I pick them up and move them back inside. Sounds like a lot of work, but it takes literally just one or two minutes to achieve. I think it's a, a simple solution and uh, use it all the time. I spend as much time as I can in the greenhouse with my hobby, so I do like to be comfortable where I can. Keep myself company with um, radio and CD player tucked in the corner. But more importantly, the space under here is utilized with um, storage units, um, the boxes that people may be familiar with if they shop in Ikea from time to time, the portable tray and the trolleys that slip easily in and out underneath the benches, perfect fit that contain pots, tags, miscellaneous gardening items, anything I need in the greenhouse. A good investment. At the other end of the greenhouse is the working area with uh, my reference notes and books in the corner, various fertilizers and insecticides tools and bits and pieces that most of you will recognize that come in useful time to time then the actual potting section itself where all the work goes on try to keep the uh, the mess to a minimum in there and then swinging around a little further is a miscellaneous area where anything that falls off or gets cut off or leaves drop off are placed until such time as they grow some roots and i decide to pot them on Moving around further is Cozy Corner, where I sit with my books and my coffees and uh, generally see what's going on in the greenhouse each day. The top shelf consists mainly of mammalaria and cactus that enjoy a bit of sun, whilst underneath are those that prefer a little bit of shade provided by the bubble wrap. Over here we've got some uh, a collection of euphorbia and a few miscellaneous items as we move along here. Moving further along, really a growing 
need to put some more plants in these areas and in the top corner I have a few apuntias and plants that I hope enjoy the more direct sunlight. The British Cactus and Succulent Society